Menacing or warding is one of the largest arguments that exists about Terraria. Both of them are reforges that can be inflicted onto accessories by the Goblin Tinkerer, but which is better? Obviously it boils down to personal preference, some people may enjoy playing as a glass cannon, but some other people may want to be a tungsten slingshot. What does that mean? Well, in order to get menacing or warding, you'll need to burn through a few thousand platinum because of the mundane, useless modifiers. Lucky, quick, violent, and arcane, and the inferior versions of them. But what makes these modifiers so forgettable? Why is it very few people try to max out these stats? To start off, I decided that I wanted to work with the lucky modifier. Reforging your accessories to lucky basically permits you to raise your critical strike chance by 4%. Critical strike chance basically doubles the amount of damage your weapon would normally do. Naturally, this number is low, but can be increased using different weapons, armor sets, accessories, and reforges. Now this kind of sounds overpowered on paper, but how would it actually play out? I've come to the conclusion that it's really class dependent and depends on what you use. For each class that I tested, I used irrelevant accessories that didn't contribute to any stats, but reforged them to lucky. And then I used relevant accessories that contributed to my class's stats with the lucky modifier. Using this, I was able to compare it to menacing, which had the same tests done. Here's what I got starting with the mage class. Menacing outcompetes lucky here because the crit chance for the menacing is just naturally high, meaning now it just has a higher base damage along with a good chance chance of crit damage compared to lucky which has a lower base damage but a higher crit chance but doesn't really matter at that point after testing mage i went over to the ranger class and this one was kind of difficult to compare because of the weapon i chose when i used the sniper for menacing i had already achieved max crit chance meaning i didn't need a lucky sniper setup either way it did crazy amounts of damage finally the last class i tested was melee and Lucky outcompeted Menacing by quite a bit of DPS here. The next modifier on the list is the Quick modifier. If you didn't know, the default speed for a Terraria character is 15 miles per hour, measured using the stopwatch. The first thing that I wanted to test was the change in speed using only the Quick modifier. So I picked out 7 random non-speed related accessories and modified them to Quick. After reforging for like 20 years, I finally got Quick on everything, only for an increase of 5 miles per hour. I also did the same thing, but used some actual decent accessories which contributed to speed along with a useful armor set, except I reforged one set to quick and the other to something unrelated. What didn't really make sense though was my speed staying the same according to the stopwatch despite using all my quick accessories. If I had to guess, it would have to be that there's a limit towards how much the accessories affected everything. Regardless, there was in fact a difference, which was acceleration speed. The accessories contributed a lot towards the acceleration of my character, and I'll even show a comparison so you can see the difference. If you didn't know though, dashing also accelerates you, and it's much better at doing it than simply walking until you achieve your maximal speed. Honestly, even if you're not using any boots, I think it's still really not worth it because you can simply use use wings and asphalt ground. The only case that this may appear useful is in classic mode until post plantera, but even then, I still wouldn't. Now for the violent modifier, which allows you to increase melee speed by 4%. An important note here is that melee speed is the actual speed of the sword and not the speed of the projectile. This also might be beneficial for true melees because the swords do not use projectiles. So because this one only benefits melees, I thought I'd use two different weapons. The first one being the fetid bagnax and the other one being the terra blade. But as I was using the fetid bagnax, I realized that they only get a 25% buff from melee speed accessories. So it doesn't really contribute much. But a naked Terra Blade on the other hand, with the sword hitting the dummy, did around 700 to 800 damage with the highest being 900. And with the accessories slash the sword reforge, it did about 1100 damage. That's already really good considering that the accessories are not even related. The Terra Blade also does have a speed limit which is 75% but this is significantly higher and we can purposely increase this by using some actual decent accessories. So I just put on a fairly decent armor set at that stage of the game and here's the result. I got about 3300 to 3500 damage using only violent 
and melee speed related accessories. Let me change them to menacing and let's compare once again. Now surprisingly, once tested with melee, it performed much worse. Like the highest damage dealt all around was 2500. Now once again, this is kind of weapon dependent, but the Terror Blade is one of the most commonly used swords at this stage of Terraria. And so if you're using it, you might as well just go for the violent modifier. Otherwise, for early game, I'd still think that menacing would be better. Now, the last modifier I want to talk about is arcane. Now, this one can just purely be up to playstyle because we have mana potions which can just replenish your mana bar, but at the cost of losing damage. You can also just wait, but who wants to wait? Once everything was reforged and properly put, I ended up with 640 mana. You can replace some of the accessories I use here or not. A lot of these have had a lot of objection towards being worth it or not. But this one might genuinely just be up to playstyle. You can do a lot less damage with the trade-off of being basically able to attack for the entire fight. It's that or you choose to do crazy amounts of damage for short bursts of time. Or finally, you choose to go for more defense at the cost of damage and attack speed. And so these are all the possible accessory reforges. I hope you enjoyed and let me know in the comments if anything I did was possibly inaccurate.